You know, the one thing I find about fishing topwater is you can do it more often than we all think. Right now, I don't have ideal conditions. I've got overcast, um, it's windy, but the thing is, if you do it the right time of year, where the water isn't as warm, the fish are still gonna hold tight to the cover, and that gives you an opportunity to target them even when you have overcast conditions. The one thing I find that's different between fishing overcast and sunny conditions is that sunny conditions, the fish are buried, they're you know under those mats, and they'll, they'll blast anything that rips across the surface. Um, in this condition, right now, overcast, the fish are sitting on the outside of the pads and it's sparse. I just have to give the fish a little bit of time to think about making that commitment to the bait, uh, but they'll blow up on it. So it's a little bit of a different retrieve, but you'll still get the same results. Now it is time to play. There's one, nice and tight. I don't know if he's very big. Oh, well, that's a good size. Not bad. There's still, uh, I was just thinking, or wondering if they're because the sun's coming up if they started to bury themselves, but this guy was still on the outside edge, so it might still be good for a few more fish on the outside. Not a giant. We'll take him. We'll take him. Put this one in the well. I'd say one of the keys to a higher hookup ratio with a hollow body frog, or even any top water for that matter, but, but more the weedless frog than anything, is when you see that blow up, you can't react right away, because if you do, you won't, you won't get a hook in. So you, what you want to do is cast out, see that blow up, pause maybe a second longer than you would with a regular top water bait, and then give it a good set, and you want to get it in quick. You want to horse that fish out of the weeds, that's why a heavy rod, heavy line, it's all important. Oh no. When was the last time you broke off a frog? Well, time to retie. That's a, that's a pretty good lesson. I mean, we, we just take for granted that we use this big heavy line and nothing's gonna ever happen to it. You saw right there, I got a blow up. Oh no. And my braid broke. So there was obviously a weak point in the braid. Never know. Luckily, we keep lots of frogs on hand. And tied up, we'll get another. fish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. You gotta love it. Under all the salad. Oh, she just 
tail bat. Just tail bat. Right down the yak. Awesome. It's like a post spawner. Some sores. Good fish though. Really good fish. There was a boil. Here we go. It's had a boil. Let's see if I can just flip in there and get him. It's always good to have a little follow-up tactic. Got this power team Texas rig jig. Flip it in there. They want this, they wanted the frog. Frog back. There it is. Not a giant. A lot of fun though. We wanted that frog. Yeah, just a little guy. Smacked it though. Topwater frogs. Gotta love them. <laughs> 